The good, the bad, the ugly on our family experience at the Brownstone Pancake Factory. We went to the brick location. It is adorable inside. Family, friendly atmosphere, great music playing. Staff is super friendly and our waitress gave us top-notch service. The girls started off with chocolate milkshakes and at first sight, these are masterpieces. But you know what they say, don't judge a book by its cover. Well, let me dive in. First, Milana said that the chocolate brownie was hard as a rock, dry, brittle, not moist at all, and had no like rich chocolate flavor. Then to top it off, when they took a sip of the chocolate milkshake, they said that it was very watered down and tasted like chocolate milk, not a thick and rich chocolate milkshake. It was very disappointing to hear. Alessia even took a sip and she didn't seem that happy. But the good part was the special. It was French onion soup and it was to die for. Loaded with cheese, Piping hot, the broth had so much flavor. I was really pleased with that. If I went here again, I would definitely order this. Milana got the pretzel caramel halamode pancakes. We ordered macaroni and cheese for everyone to share. A happy face pancakes and chicken and waffles. Lena got a beautiful Santa Fe chicken salad. And then we got a lemon chicken with yellow rice. That looked beautiful. So the macaroni and cheese tasted very powdery. It was not cheesy at all. It tasted like flour and water with no flavor. Milana said her pancakes were eh. As you can see, she didn't even eat them. Alina, she loves spicy food, but she complained that it was too spicy. That someone must have had a heavy hand with the jalapenos. And my chicken was so freaking dry. And the outside of that skin was like leather. It was almost petrified. It was so unedible. I barely ate it. The best thing was the lemon chicken. We all ate it and devoured it because we didn't get to eat any of our own food. So we shared that. But look how cute this place is. It's really, really nice. I guess maybe they were having a bad day. I don't know. But would I ever go here again? Eh. Maybe. I will say it was super clean in there. Even the restroom was super clean. And I'm big on super clean restrooms when I go to a restaurant. It was adorable. It had these cute sayings on the wall. It was very inspirational. You know, love yourself. And it was just a really good atmosphere, happy and fun place. But anyways, I want to walk you out and show you the highlight of the Brownstone, which is this adorable vintage Volkswagen van. There's tables set up in there and you can sit down and and eat. It's the most cutest thing I've ever seen. I mean, it was a shame that the food was a bit subpar, but you know what? I'd still recommend giving it a try yourself.